In this video, I'll give you five tips on how you can ensure your team completes their definition of done when using JIRA. So just a quick reminder of what the definition of done is. In Scrum, the DOD, the definition of done, is quality criteria. And the team needs to meet this quality criteria before they say a product backlog item is complete. So typically a DOD comes in the form of a checklist. And what the team does is before they say a product backlog item is finished, they go to this checklist and they make sure that all the criteria has been met. What's some common criteria that might be on a DOD? It could be it's been tested, maybe a review of the work has been done, maybe it's been accepted by a product owner. It's different from team to team. But bottom line is they will have this criteria and it will be in the form of a checklist. Now, if you're using JIRA, how can you enforce the definition of done? How can you get your team to actually follow it? I find a lot of Scrum Masters struggle with this. Either they are running around trying to make sure that the team doesn't forget about the DOD or they just forget about it altogether and the team ends up producing with varying levels of quality. So how do you get around it? Well, here are five tips. My first tip is to use subtasks for each of the criteria on your definition of done. If you're using subtasks for sprint backlog items, this is a great option because what happens is it becomes part of the team sprint plan and as they're focusing on the sprint plan and getting those subtasks done, they will in turn get their definition of done, done. Okay, so first tip here is to use subtasks for the DOD criteria if you're using them for your sprint backlog items. My second tip is to use the columns on your scrum board to represent some of the criteria on your DOD. So for example, if you had uh, one point of criteria which was a review, you might have a review column on your scrum board. Now what that means is it just reminds the team, okay, before they say it's done, before they put that item into the done column, it needs to go through a review. So using the columns or the statuses on your scrum board can be a great way to remind your team of the DOD and to make sure they get that criteria completed. My third tip here is to use a custom control to represent the DOD criteria. For example, you can create a control in JIRA that is a checklist and it can have your definition of done criteria on there. If you'd like me to create a video on that, just let me know in the comments below. But that's my third tip, okay? Create a custom control which will help your team remember what the DOD is and they can check those items off before they say the work is complete. My fourth tip here is to make sure your DOD is documented in Confluence or your wiki of choice. Making sure that it's been documented and also shared with the team will ensure that they remember their DOD. Along with this tip, I also recommend you remind the team of the DOD at your sprint planning session so that they're considering it when they're coming up with their sprint plan. Okay, so tip number four is to make sure you've got it documented somewhere, like for example, Confluence, but to also bring it to your sprint planning session and remind the team of it at that meeting. And my final tip here to make sure that your team completes their DOD is I like to have the team assign leads for each product backlog item. What do I mean by a lead? Well, it's just a person on a team and they're going to take ownership of the product backlog item and make sure that all the definition of done criteria is met for it. And of course, to be fair, it'll get 
the product backlog items within the sprint get distributed evenly amongst the team. So everyone is a lead for one or more of the product backlog items. But if they're the lead for that product backlog item, they need to make sure that the DOD is met for it. So how do you represent the leads in JIRA? Well, I simply just like to have them assign the product backlog item to each specific lead. And then you'll find that the team themselves take ownership of making sure that the DOD is met and they have a greater appreciation for it. So there you have it, five tips to get your team to complete their definition of done when they use JIRA. What were they? Firstly, you can get them to create subtasks for each of the criteria. Secondly, you can use the columns on the Scrum board. Thirdly, you can create a custom control. Fourth, you can document it in, let's say, Confluence and remind the team of the definition done at the sprint planning session. And lastly, number five was to assign a lead to each product backlog item. And that lead is going to take responsibility for making sure that the DOD has been met. So I hope these tips have helped you. And if they did, and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now. Give us a like as well, and share this video if you think others will find it helpful. And lastly, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.